it, the equator is the one in the middle, right? The okay. equator is where the belt is. That's it's, our cold open. Well, the what's equator is <laughs> the one in the middle. <laughs> oh, are these rolling? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. shit. <laughs> the, oh, okay. Then what's the one where it's the line and it gets colder once you go past it? No, hotter. The poles? The equator. The, the, what was the one in the middle again? The one that goes around the, the equator. Earth, in the middle. Oh, there's it's there's the crust and then no the no, no no different different oh, so, different topics the mantle the the that's depth of the earth the equator is the circumference around the apex oh you know when you go to a country and it's in the mantle <laughs> y'all y'all do that I wonder how many words I just understood. <laughs> A pickup line competition because I said the Eiffel Tower was in London. I just got off stage and I googled what is London. Wait, oh what was the? Don't pick include line you this tried. in the show. Wait, no. Now we need to know what was the pickup line you tried. No, it, the pickup line wasn't. I'll. Can I give you my good pickup line? Sure. Sure. Okay. And then give us the one you lost on. Okay. Um. Hey, I just want to let you know, I stand in solidarity. Oh, sorry. I thought you were the WGA because you are absolutely striking. Whoa. And for what it's worth, I think the two of us would make a very strong union. Okay. But oh what did God. you, what was the, I So the Anyone one I lost hard? on, <laughs> the one I lost on yes. was a writing prompt. And so I had to write a pickup line for uh, somebody based on their profile. And so it said that she was a personal trainer from Paris. And I, or no, she was a personal trainer, oh, uh, from London, and I said something about, like, hey, uh, it makes sense you're a personal trainer because with those muscles, you're an absolute Eiffel. Whoa. Like, I don't know how I feel about that. It wasn't, it wasn't good. It was not going to win point blank. I, I didn't, I also just want to say, I didn't say, like, with those muscles, but it was, it was implied, I don't know. Wait, I got to pick up the line. Hey, are you into me and my friends? Cause we can Eiffel Tower you. Wait. <laughs> I mean that's direct and I like it. Yeah, I agree. Yeah, I that's like that. To that's the effective. Point. Yeah, exactly. You're strategic. I am. I like direct communication. <laughs> you want to get Eiffel Towered? Let's get Eiffel Towered. Um. Ooh, I got another one. Hey, are you my girlfriend? <laughs> you can become that. <laughs> Ah, really direct, right? Yeah, yeah. I think that's good. <clears throat> hey, are you from Tennessee? Because I've never been inside you. <laughs> and I'm not sure in this political climate if I'm looking to change that. <laughs> hey, are you from Tennessee? Because I've never been inside you. And uh, I don't want you to <laughs> tell anyone <laughs> that I said that. Should should I should I do that? It's really good. I think that's good. I think we have a lot to work with here. I think so. Mm -hmm. Welcome to Two Nosy Meerkats, everyone. Welcome back. We it's are been back. Moments. It's <laughs> been mere <laughs> moments since we recorded. Mere cat moments. Oh, mere cat mo that that would be a fun Patreon exclusive. Patreon mere. after dark mere cat moments. Whoa. Ooh. It's just us. Where we finally fuck. It's <laughs> about time. Yeah. You've got some good pickup lines. I think so. Um, we, we were asked recently on the mm -hmm. AMA if we've ever kissed. And the answer is no. no. Oh. Not yet. Not yet. Not yet. Stop. You're making me <laughs> blush. There's always more time. I'm playing there the long is. game. You know? Oh, as have I. I'm, yeah. I'm trying to pick the right moment. Yeah. Has it has it can, I, can I ask, has anyone ever used, a, like, in the wild, a legit pickup line trying to pick you up has no, anyone ever done that? no no one cares about me enough <laughs> no no has anyone ever done it to you i not that I, no one's given a good one enough at least that i could remember it mm. okay. yeah so step up your game yeah mm. everyone step it up and speaking of stepping it up lucas who do we have on oh my god we have an insanely talented comedian you know him you love him give a round of applause for wait so, 
Pronounce your last name first. You love him so much, you definitely know how to say his name. <laughs> well, because here's the thing. Micah I, Ames, Ames, as in... Okay, because I've heard people say Eames and Ames. And it, so, yeah. okay. Thank it's, you. Uh, it's Ames as in Ames to please. Ames to please. Oh, there he and is. And he exceeds at doing so. Give a round of applause for Micah Ames. Woo! Um, I like how you went off of Step Up. For me, because I am always wearing platforms, it's part of the trans mask uniform. Yeah. 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 Uh -huh. We have now, you're now our second trans mask yeah. guest in a row. Yeah. Stepstool squad, what's good? <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh my God, does Max use stepstool? Oh, wait, I don't or, know. or platforms? Oh, Jesus, yes. Yeah, Um. he's got the Converse platform shoes, and I'm like, dude, you got to get insoles for those. I don't insoles? care. I don't. Insoles. <laughs> You gotta get incels. I I'm I want to keep incels away from Converse. Like, yeah, you know mm. the queer community has to keep something. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, throw that shit back. Oh, oh can't watch this podcast. Did you ever play softball? <laughs> Poorly, which was a very it was a grave misfortune as a lesbian of that age. Yeah, I know. Why was it yeah. a great misfortune? I thought because that's where that. you pick up chicks. Yeah, true. Oh. That's where you meet your people. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I did play lacrosse and field hockey like a good lesbian. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Did yeah. you did you pick up? Did you sweep? <sighs> well, no. See, I was a lesbian between. I mean, unknowingly at that time, but uh, like lesbians you didn't, didn't exist. You were like, "What am I doing with these? With this lacrosse stick? Oh my god, I might be a lesbian." <laughs> <laughs> Um, that's what happens. You wake up, you have a lacrosse yeah, stick exactly. in your hand. I'm like, I use it. I'm that's like, how the Lord tells you. I'm mm -hmm. from New York City. What am I using this for? Oh, yeah. shit. <laughs> to finger women with my lacrosse stick. <laughs> there we go. Um, pick up women with the, with the scooper. No. <laughs> uh, actually, after my first shot of testosterone, I knew it was a man because I woke up and my uh, bed frame was gone. It was just a mattress on the floor. <gasps> oh, yeah, oh my sense. God. Yeah. My body wash the tooth had fairy been. took it. All oh, my don't put, oh sorry oh sorry my body wash uh, shampoo and conditioner were suddenly all in one bottle. Beautiful. Yeah. Nice. You, you gotta. I've seen four in one now, and I'm like, what's the fourth thing? Oh, I've looked it up. The most uh, is eight in one. Eight in one. So shaving, body wash. <laughs> it, it's like the uh, the fairly odd parents thing where it's like uh, giant giant cake, birthday shake, yeah, yeah guava yeah. mousse. You know, they just mm -hmm. throw them together. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. What are so it's shaving? Lava moose, papa moose, <laughs> father moose, papa. Yeah, I I don't remember the theme song, but they no, had so many papa great moose. songs. It's, it's French for grapefruit. Why would I know that? Oh, pa oh, pop. I mean, I, still I only know because of Lacroix. I just yeah. asked you where London is. Like, I like <laughs> you think I'm gonna know how to speak French? Yeah, Mike where the a, Eiffel Tower is. Yeah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> We got a himbo on. I did get the himbo award at the pickup line. Whoa. It, they didn't plan on having that. I think it was just one of those, <laughs> like, we got to like... give them something. Yeah. <laughs> well, you've been I just, shotgunning. I, I am, I'm still trying to learn how to shotgun, yes. Uh, I've, I have had, I think, five or six instructors now, and I oh still God. haven't been able to shotgun a beverage without getting it all over my shirt, so... The quest continues. But I think that's how I you're supposed to try. do it. I simply don't try. I just don't try at all. You just like you puncture a hole with a key, and then you crack it, and then you yeah. Isn't that it? I I don't know because all I've of the people who it. taught me have taught me different ways. So I don't. I've looked up the WikiHow article. Like I'm doing my research. I feel like by the end of you doing that bit, you're just going to be the expert on shotgunning. Like, you're going to be... For those who don't know, Micah does a great bit on stage where he shotguns beers with a straight man. Generally straight man, right? Mm -hmm. Yes. There was one time um, I did a show called Trans Excellence, and so I asked the audience, are there any straight cis men here, and was met with silence and some chuckles, because we all collectively knew that was not the case. Yes. Um, so instead, a very confident lesbian stormed to the stage, carabiner, <laughs> like, in hand, you know, like, <laughs> yeah. like storming the... The tower. Capital. <laughs> yeah, it was like, I've got this. Um, <laughs> if so. lesbians stormed the Capitol be a different story <laughs> <laughs> I, th I think it would be more efficient there would be spreadsheets oh mm -hmm. yeah yeah they would have just killed everybody <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> if lesbians murdered people let me tell you 
<laughs> would have killed Pelosi, but been like, but been like, and that's so valid for you to die. Could <laughs> <laughs> have killed Pelosi, but not before fixing her. <laughs> you know? Yeah. Could you fix Nancy Pelosi? I I don't think I could. I think that I'm too much of a pacifist. Like I I don't I don't know. What would you do to fix her? I think Pelosi's kind of hot. That's not even a joke. I actually do. She's she she's not she's not bad. She's you like a, you like a woman who's gonna give you a stern talking to? No, nah, she's no, nah, she's just a baddie. That's mm-hmm. it. Literally, is just purely. I'm just like, yeah, I get it. Okay. <laughs> Remember when the the fake blue check marks first came out on Twitter? Oh yeah, yeah, and people were like being fake politicians. Oh yeah, there was one that was like uh, Chuck Schumer, and it was like, I don't agree with everything Nancy Pelosi says, but those things thing, and I'll tell you what. <laughs> I still Good. have that saved. I, I really you know hope, he's thought it. I, th- I think that <laughs> Chuck saw that it. and was like, oh, good. I'm glad somebody said it. <laughs> I'm, I'm Chuck Schumer and I stand by this statement. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Chuck Schumer and let me tell you, I've been all around the world, but all I wanted was one girl. <laughs> oh. Have you, have you heard this? I'm like- Chuck Schumer and I need a one dance. <laughs> I'm Chuck Schumer and Bumba Clat. <laughs> Have you heard this deep New York lore about like this speech Chuck Schumer makes at every graduation? No. He makes the same speech every single time. He talks about how after high school he won a scholarship to travel all around the world. Who the fuck knows what the scholarship was? Sounds fake. But then he had a girlfriend at home and he s- didn't take the scholarship so he could hang out with his girl. But then when he met up with his girl the day after he dropped the scholarship, she broke up with him. And that's what he says to every single high school student in New York City. Thoughts? He couldn't, nothing about like college or (laughs) paying taxes or no? Okay, on our previous episode with Max, we talked about how this guy will not stop reaching out to this woman and he's like written songs about her about how much he misses her a year and a half after the breakup and she's like in a new relationship he's threatening to kill himself because she's found a new man i'm wondering if chuck schumer is just that kind of guy cool (laughs) (laughs) dedicated committed the best (laughs) can i actually say very quickly a story about chess uh jess tom Mm -hmm. which is that on monday we were on a show together and uh I went up after them, but they stayed for uh, what was my set. And I talked about how my mom was a clinical psychologist and how she did not recognize signs of neurodivergency. And Jess Tom was just like on the side, just going. <laughs> just then they were like, yeah, me too. <laughs> Damn, everyone, huh? Me, yeah. me three. Word. Yeah. Your mother. Word to your mother. Your mom is also a clinical psychologist? Yes. Ooh, shit. Yeah. 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 Not really. My mom was a, uh, my mom's done a lot of odd jobs. Oh, yeah. Like you what? have a big comedy family, if I'm not mistaken. Yes. Um, my dad wrote for, my dad's uh, first midlife crisis was taking up writing at Second City. And so he um, wrote sketch, he did sketch shows. Uh, so that was really cool. And then um, when he was 60, he started doing stand-up comedy. Wow. Which by midlife crisis math means my dad's going to live to 120. Wow. I love that he had multiple midlife crises. That's good. He, I, Why stop at one? Yeah. He won't do his stand-up for me, but my family went to the show and said he was the closer and he absolutely crushed. You guys should roast each other. That'd be really fun. <laughs> <laughs> that would be awesome have you seen the roast battle between mia faith hammond and her mom no oh it's one of the best things i've ever seen i would love to see i if mia her- faith hammond's mom had the same kind of like delivery and comedy style that she did i would lose my mind they're not similar at all but they get each other and they yeah. really get a ki- and that's what's really sweet but mia faith her mom started off her roast battle joke with thank you cunt from my cunt <laughs> Unbelievable. And like the oh the God, entire God. room lost it, of course. I roasted my dad <laughs> recently in front of his friends. It was really Whoa. fun. I um it was in front of like he's in this um men's acting club, which insane. Um so I was like he's the president. So I said something like uh 
it's really cool that my dad well first of all i was like yes i'm on the stage because my dad is the president uh proving nepotism is not always useful <laughs> and then i that was just the opener and mm -hmm. then i said something to the effect of um like Yes, it's cool that my dad runs things around here, but considering he wears an earring and does yoga, I'm surprised it took him this long to be the president of a men's club. My dad has done more gay shit on this stage than I have as a bisexual woman in Brooklyn. <laughs> nice. <laughs> That's great. And Get him! And then I was like, my dad got so into one of his roles here that he actually got a beard. My mom. Ha! <laughs> Oh, did your mom Get like that? Oh, she loved it. <laughs> she loved it. I could so see your mom just smiling like really broadly and just My like... parents like to be roasted. It's very weird, actually. Mm -hmm. I they, see it. I totally doing? see it. I don't know. This uh, oh, I guess my air bar was wrapped in cellophane, which I it feels uh, more precious this way. <laughs> I cannot focus with that with the crinkle of that. Yeah, <laughs> I, uh, I'm putting her putting putting her away. Um, Lucas, you, yes. has your mom seen you do stand-up? Yes, she has. Is she a fan? Does she support? Have you roasted her? I would never roast her. She would not like that at all. <laughs> my mo No, she is not. Uh, my mom saw me do one of my Edinburgh shows last year, and that went okay. It went all right. I like kind of tailored my material so that it wouldn't be – I wouldn't touch on anything that would offend her, mm -hmm. and it went okay – but my mom has responded negatively in the past. Mm -hmm. And, yeah. Uh, yeah, we, I, I, I try to keep her as distant as possible for my comedy. Because, like, I actually, when I went to visit her earlier this year, uh, when, I w when we were just, like, hanging out before I was about to go back on my pl flight back to America, uh, she said, I just, I hope that you'll allow me to see your stand-up one day. And I was like, okay. I was like, okay, I hear you. And she's like, do you ever think about how this feels? And I, and what I didn't say, but I wanted to because I was just too, it was like a very early flight, but I, I just didn't have the vocabulary at the time. I was like, it's because I'm constantly thinking about how you're feeling that I can't have you there. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's just like, it's so, it's all my responsibility. It's giving parentified child. Yeah. I, I have problems relaxing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You can tell. Yeah. What? This guy? He's a beacon of relaxation. <laughs> <laughs> He's like a living Xanax pill. Yeah. <laughs> Lucas uh. Chill Guy Arnold. <laughs> <laughs> when I see you, I see one of those inflatable car wash men who's like, woo! <laughs> <laughs> you do have the stature for it. <laughs> you have the physical build. Yeah. Yeah. I would make a doll out of you for your birthday. <laughs> a car wash doll. I don't mean like a regular. Creepy oh, doll. okay. Yeah, I would. Uh -huh. Oh, of was... Lucas. Not to not a, not to <laughs> be the dead want horse it. of the joke of the day, but I think that Sunny would like to make a doll of me too. <laughs> 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 that, that <laughs> oh yeah. my god. So yeah, I'm chill. You chill. <laughs> you chill. I don't think I'm very chill. Mr. Chill guy? I think you are a chill person. I think I'm chill passing. You're chill. I think I'm Fascinating. chill passing. It's always the most chill passing people who are You're chill truly but non broken inside. <laughs> 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 truly got some shit going on. Yeah. What do you think about? Um not the world. I think that's great. I think that really <laughs> helps start. for, for yeah. keeping a level of chill. Like I was very active on Twitter until 2020 and i decided oh i'm not chill enough to be here anymore so i took a step back um but you know what's really funny is uh after starting stand-up in brooklyn uh from meeting people i found out that i was already mutuals with like max yeah um max gross who has been on this podcast um audrey black uh tony like alex um uh, just the the list goes on to yeah. like six people total. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, how long have you been living in New York? I moved here in January of 2018. Wow. Oh, shit. You've been here for a minute. Mm -hmm. But I only really met you like this year or even last year. I started doing stand up October of last year. Okay. okay. Yeah. 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 Um, I met you at Waho uh, maybe in like February. Yeah, that sounds about right. Yeah. Yeah. 
Uh, oh my god, time flies. What got yeah. you to start doing it? Stand yes. up. Uh what got me to start doing it? Um it was I know that I just wanted more because I I I love stand up. I grew up listening to it. Like I would just sit in the basement um which I guess is an irrelevant detail, but that like, because it's just like uh, like I would sit in like the dark crevices of my house. Also a brag, I had a basement. Um, and watch yeah, like the You're thirty minute comedy specials. New York boys right here. <laughs> um, what was I gonna say? Yeah, I so I watched comedy specials all the time. Um, I like the first albums I listened to were I'm sorry, Dane Cook, um, Jim Gaffigan, uh, forgiven, uh, Mitch Hedberg. So so I listened to it a lot, uh, and then it. I, it was just I ran into a friend uh, at a party who was like, "Yeah, I, you know, I go to open mics all the time. You should come to one." Classic, oh, so classic. Nice. One of my uh, symbiotic stories is that at thirteen, when I first liked a girl, she was a really big Dane Cook fan. So I'd sit there and watch Dane Cook specials with her, and he didn't resonate with me, but I would pretend to laugh so hard. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, oh I've my done god. that not with comedy but with music. I pretended mm. to be more into Florence and the Machine than I was. And I do actually like Florence and the Machine, but I pretended to, like, know all the lyrics. How do you even just, like, lip sync or, like, move oh. your lips along? Okay, this is this is the extent of it, was that this girl I liked in high school, she posted this, like, a two-bar lyric. And then I commented the next two-bar lyrics. And then the next day in class, she was like, oh, my God, do you know Florence? I was like, yeah, I love Florence. And then we just started, like, talking back and forth. Mm -hmm. And then the next time we had a uh, class, it was like the next week. And she was like, hey, how was your weekend? And I was like, oh, was chill. I didn't really get to do much. And she was like, no. And I was like, yeah, I, I, was, I was bored. And she was just like, and I was like, oh, okay. And then she like gave me her number and I texted her. No response. Just texted one more time, like a day later, just to check and no response. And then when we had class another time, I was like, Hey, did you get my text? She's like, no. And I was like, wait, what the fuck? And so I pulled up my phone. She was like, oh, I'm sorry. I accidentally put in the wrong digit. And I was like, oh, shit. Okay. And then she corrected it. And then she had a boyfriend the next day. No. Oh, my God. Shows you that Florence and the Machine is a real cunt. Yeah. I haven't been able to listen to her since. <laughs> Florence and the Machine, more like Florence and the wrong digit. Florence and the whores. Uh. <laughs> Horrence and the Machine was right there. I know, but it was right there. It, it was, was right but the thing there, is, I have standards. Right within reach. Ooh, true. I didn't want to go for it. Uh, Gabby, I have a question for you. What's the gayest date you've ever been on? Oh, I love this wow, question. Wow, amazing question. Oh my god. You, you're, you're good. You're yeah, good. You, he's you're good. Us. You're good. Mm. I think I went on a really gay date recently because okay. I went on a date with my old roommate's ex-girlfriend. And we spent the entire date in the park talking about our exes. <laughs> yeah, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> or people we were like currently crushing on. It was weird because it was like because I vaguely knew her, it kind of felt more like an old friend than a date. Mm -hmm. But like. Did you smash? No. The, the gay, that was the other gay part was she was like, I want to kiss you, but not right now. I, like, I don't know that that's gay, but the, I mean, okay, actually, when you put yeah, it, when it, it, when it all stacks up, then yes. <laughs> is it gay to be cooked? <laughs> yeah, you, no, you're right. It's like the amalgamation of everything. Uh -huh. What was the gayest date you went on in your lesbian days? Oh, well, so I still date queer women. And uh, well, okay, well, in my lesbian days, it would be the one where the girl told me uh, on our first date how she was planning to propose to me. And it, we were at a gay bar, so that adds a little seasoning. The least gay thing was Is it that gay she to wanted. Be psycho? <laughs> <laughs> I was like, like, uh, what is that uh, life plan you hauling? I don't know. But um, the least gay part of it was that the proposal was going to be a flash mob, which I think is the straightest thing you could do. Ooh. In yeah, what was that? that 2015. Yeah, oh. it's right in there. Yeah, yeah. it's so, right in there. Um, I think, and the other part was it was going to be to steal my girl, which feels like the opposite of getting engaged. Wait, so, say that again. Steal uh, my girl by, by One Direction. Oh, I do love One Direction. Oh, I don't know any One Direction. I thought that uh, I thought you were oh. saying like, wait, who's stealing whose girl? I was yeah. confused. Um, who's stealing whose girl? <laughs> 
Um, Gra- Grandma, what? let's get you to bed. <laughs> <laughs> you were a I remember stealing girls. <laughs> <laughs> Lesbian grandma trope. <laughs> oh, my God. Um, and then uh, I remember the founder of Subaru. <laughs> <laughs> Go on. Oh, hot chick. <laughs> I, in in a, I, I need um an L word chart. Yeah. Yeah. I yeah. need that. I need a PowerPoint. Yeah. <laughs> Can I say there was a guy? Uh, I, I went to, I went to a party where a guy introduced himself to me as an Eskimo sibling. <gasps> really? Yeah. Like we both fucked the same bitch. Yeah. I that's interesting because I definitely have people who I know we've both hooked up with the same person, but you could hold a gun to my head and I wouldn't bring it up. Oh wow, yeah, it was a, uh, yeah, it was someone who I went on like just a couple dates with last year, and then I went away and then I didn't like talk to her again. But I saw her at a show that I was on, and I sort of kind of carefully avoided her because I was like, oh, I just don't want to touch this, mm-hmm. and. Uh, I think he was there as well because he told me he was like, oh, yeah, I was with her at this show. And then she pointed you out as a guy that she had had sex with in the past. And I was just like, oh, OK. <laughs> and he was like, she's not mad or anything. It was just it happened. I was like, all right. <laughs> it happened to me. I had sex with Lucas. Frank and bite that. I had sex with Lucas. <laughs> We're, we haven't kissed, but we fucked already. Yeah. Damn. I don't. Do, I don't do foreplay. <laughs> you just kind of stick just it in. Just get back there. <laughs> that's, yeah. that's that's what I like. Has mm. anyone ever introduced themselves to you and be like, "Oh yeah, we have hooked up with the same person"? Yes, but I can't remember any specific anecdotes about it. You need a chart. I need. I need a chart. Do you I watch? Did you watch the L word? I did. I was so thirsty for any kind of lesbian content. Yeah. Yeah. So that was my introduction. Um, also, but I think I, cause when did I, I came out in like 2011. Um, so the L word was what we had then. And then fortunately close after that was, uh, orange is the new black. Oh yes. Yes. Yeah, yes. So All they stacked the pretty quickly. Um, Audrey black came on and we made Lucas watch an episode of the L word out of context. It was surreal. What season? Don't make him watch the Q. Uh, no, Gen not Q. Generation Q. It, it was, was a basketball episode. It was the basketball episode, season four. Also, when uh, uh, Jenny kills the dog. Oh. Yeah. At some point, I just started fast forwarding to watch scenes with Shane and them. I, ooh, okay. Is mm. that your type? I, uh, someone asked me recently if I had a, t- well, I was, I don't necessarily have a type. But I like lots of kinds of people. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, was it, is, is it Brit who has the joke where it's, um, I was talking to my therapist and I was like, oh, I like, you know, some men and some women. And uh, I think I'm attracted to hot people. And the therapist is like, that's just shallow. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Good joke. Yeah. Yeah. So when it, you came out the first time as lesbian, when did you come out as trans man? Well, so first I came out as bi, and then uh, yes, I, I so have the, fake. I, 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 I came love out the as, prologue. Uh, I came out as bi, then lesbian, then trans, or the BLT. Um, yes. Uh, BLT. Yes, the BLT. Somebody order that. Uh, and then I am like uh, yeah. bi or queer again. So if you want to make that bacon or queso, I don't know. But mm. there's there's mm-hmm. a lot on this sandwich. Yeah, a lot <laughs> going on. What was the most formative? Com- also, by like the fourth coming out, are people in your life just like, all right, another one? <laughs> well, that's why. How I- many times can you be gay? How many- <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I haven't told them about uh, my like uh second coming of bisexuality um because i'm just like they're accepting and right. they don't have to know until it's relevant to their lives so yeah. uh so we haven't discussed it okay mm. but um but but my my family's great i have a very accepting family That's uh, awesome. so i'm fortunate for that and where local. is your family like chicago land area okay cool yeah uh my mom's one of 10 i've got like 35 cousins the family Holy keeps hell. growing yeah yeah so the fact that they're all good people is i'm pretty that's fortunate in that yeah that's really cool can i ask uh, do your does your dad have many siblings my dad does have a sister um uh-huh. and then so i have two cousins on that side they're also great mm-hmm. yeah my god mm-hmm. can i ask like what prompted your grandparents to have so many kids 
Um, Cause that's that. Those are big numbers. I think it's not believing in birth control. Uh, oh, Catholic? yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Is it believing in Catholicism or believing in Hitman Raw? Do you ever think about your grandma just like loving cock? You cannot say. That? I no. I I figure there's. I didn't. I did not think about my grandma loving cock. Have you thought about your grandma loving cock? Yep. Okay. <laughs> I think about Lucas's grandma loving cock all the time. <laughs> I mean, I do Clip know that. Uh, <laughs> I, I do know that she like uh, she like she had four kids, and then when she split up from my granddad, that she had like many relationships with other guys, and that she enjoyed uh, dating and endo- enjoying romance and sexuality as tamely as I can put it. So I guess, yeah. <laughs> Rest in peace. Have you ever thought about if your grandparents have had gay thoughts? Whoa. Whoa. Guess not. Guess not. Have you? Uh, well, I guess not. <laughs> <laughs> wow, pot kettle. <laughs> hey, my grandpa was in the army, so I figure something oh, had to give. Oh, for sure. Yeah. Oh, Trench yeah. warfare sex must have hit different. <laughs> well, yeah, well, I know that like a lot of Gay men joined the army, and a lot of uh, gay women went into uh, convents. That I oh, know is a oh, huge convents thing. are so gay. Convents yes. are so fucking gay. Talk about it, because my first girlfriend, she was Italian, and she had two gay aunts that became nuns, and it was never explicitly like said like, oh, they're gay, but like everyone in the family knew they were gay. And my thought- girlfriend told me about that, and she was like, oh yeah, they're gay, but we can't say what they are. Um, my I had an uh, ex girlfriend who. Um, did a year of service with St. Vincent de Paul or something. I don't know. The, part of the program was they had to stay in a convent for like a week. And she said all of the nuns were hippies, lesbians, and people who were arrested for like chaining themselves to, um, I think like detainee fences, like they, like protesting the government. So nuns are kind of rad. Yeah, nuns are cool. Yeah. There's actually an L Word episode about nuns. Tell it's like not totally about nuns, but it's in the teaser. It's like nuns are like on a on a school bus to go somewhere for God knows what reason. There's no children. It's just nuns on the school bus, and they just kind of start fingering each other. And then the and then the god awful theme song plays. <laughs> <laughs> that was my favorite part reading. of the show. Is the theme song? It it's the way that we live. This <laughs> is the way that we live. I want to go to a karaoke where somebody requests that song. I've and seen it everyone happen. Everyone loses it. I've seen it happen. Where were you? Do- where was it? Philadelphia, of all places. Of all places, I know Philly's wild. I, I went to an open mic in Philly, and um, I saw a guy flash his bare ass, and all that happened was he got the light. <laughs> do you think he just wanted the light on his bare ass? Ooh, yeah, maybe yeah. make it. Warm. I hate. Wh- I hate it when an him. ass is well is badly lit. You know. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> and on your new OnlyFans, your ass will be perfectly – it'll be so perfectly lit if you what compare do you think it I do to with a these? What do you think I do with these lights when you're not here? Ooh, other than stick them up your butt. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, because my butt is rectangular. <laughs> <laughs> we knew this. Speaking of butts that are rectangular, what do you think about the Taylor Swift and Travis Kelsey news? Is that how you pronounce his name, Kelsey? Yeah, sure. Uh, it's actually pronounced lesbian. It's a silent K. <laughs> <laughs> the lesbian. <laughs> lesbian. Um, I support it. I like. I don't know that I'd say I'm a Swifty, but I do love Taylor Swift and support her in all facets of life. So you put the T in Swifty. Oh, uh, oh, uh, oh, uh, uh, guys, that was a good one. Thank you. Yeah. Um, if anyone was wondering, the T is for transgender. <gasps> Or you said it? One. Transgender Swift. Or thought. <laughs> Transgender. <laughs> <laughs> she did that music video, um, I'm a man, or man, something about men. Oh, that's my man? Yeah, she yeah. she absol- she cosplays as a man in it, and it's so much, like, ma- she looks like a dude, um, but I guess she had to be in, like, eight hours of makeup, and I'm like, you could have just taken testosterone for, like... <laughs> Eight years. <laughs> you know how know. people have the like Drake is trans arc. What? Oh, you've never heard of this. This is a thing no. on. This is a thing on Twitter. Sorry, X. Um, don't mean to dead name her. I, <laughs> but people are like, uh, 
Drake is trans. That's the whole thing. People post a picture of Drake and be like, she, her looks amazing. <laughs> That's a good uh, bit. I cisgender, like I hardly know she, her. <laughs> hey, we are on a fucking roll this round. Oh, my, oh my God. God. God damn. Um, I just want to start a rumor that Taylor Swift is a trans man. Because <laughs> you can say anything about Taylor Swift and you'll find a community behind you who believes it. I but, I think that the only angle I could see on Drake being trans is he's always singing about wanting to make out with a lesbian. And is that's he? not totally like out of line for trans mass community, yeah, you know? That's true. Yeah. Cause lesbian can be like a political identity by for, for women who kiss women. <laughs> Lisa the lesbian man from season one of the L Word. Uh remember that? There is Oh God. <laughs> there's, I do. there's an episode, Lucas, of the L Word where there's a guy and his whole ass name is Lisa. <laughs> And he he calls himself Lisa the Lesbian Man. <laughs> I I have Do not you have watched idea the how show. How often this happens to me, <laughs> where I'm just sitting, I'm just like, I can't. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> how much do you think you've absorbed about lesbian culture being on this podcast? More than you can shake a stick at, but <laughs> at the same time, in one ear, out the other. More than you can <laughs> st- a shake a strap at. I'm leaving yeah. <laughs> to go get my strap bit. and throw it at you. <laughs> <laughs> uh, um, oh before we answer some audience questions, yes. Micah, tell us, tell us more about your life. What's something people don't know about you? I mean, I guess people just met you, but what's something randos who kind of know you wouldn't know about you? Um, hmm. So I got really into yo-yoing when I was, I could just rattle off some stuff and you pick what you like. I got really into yo-yoing when I was eight. I kind of like hyper fixate on certain hobbies. So I'll get really into biking for a while. Like I biked the entire state of Ohio. Oh my Um, God. Wow. I grew up uh, rock climbing. Are you really athletic? Uh, I I think I have enough to get me through. I have no hand-eye coordination. So I I was very bad at ball sports growing up, which is ha ha ha. Ha ha ha. Ha ha ha. Um, uh, what else? I went to a Catholic university in Southwest Ohio. You could learn that from my LinkedIn. Um, Look him up on LinkedIn. <laughs> don't do that. <laughs> follow me on LinkedIn. <laughs> that would be so good if, like, for your plugs, yeah. just be like, yeah, follow me on LinkedIn. Yeah. No one does that. Um, no one does that. Guys, no. don't follow me on LinkedIn. I want to know more about the yo-yoing. Yeah. I Talk just, more about it. I th- well, okay, I got into... It was like I was uh, an eight-year-old boy from the 1960s was my, like, MO that I wanted. I read uh, Dennis the Menace comics and Peanuts comics that were in, like, the old flip books and Archie. And I took up yo-yoing, marbles, and toy cars. And the fact that my parents thought I was a cis girl straight child yeah. is yeah. beyond me. Um but uh, but yeah, I I bought a number of yo-yos from Walgreens. I got pretty good. I could do around the world. It's around the world. It's when the yo-yo goes around, around the, the world. world. <laughs> around the entire world. Where's the it's core? It's when you book it a ticket, the yo-yo, and then the you core. put it on a plane, and then you wait a few weeks. It's kind of it's kind of <laughs> problematic of for the yo-yo to be doing that kind of tourism. Yeah. yeah. Oh. Third wow. world yo-yo tourism. <laughs> what happens when the yo-yo hits Guam? <laughs> you know, it's kind of messed up. The yo-yo goes on vacation in Hawaii. Yeah. And does not <laughs> the yo-yo's drinking the water. But doesn't share the wealth with indigenous peoples there. <laughs> <laughs> it's a racist yo-yo. Yeah. Uh, um, maybe maybe you can cut this. I So I have a joke where I say I am a lying little bottom bitch. And I feel... So We're not I'm, cutting that. I so <laughs> that's the name of the episode. The the joke is like I told a girl that I'm verse and uh, if you're not in the queer community um you might not know so verse means you both top and bottom or give and receive. But if you are in the queer community, you know that verse means you are a lying little bottom bitch. Yeah. And so I met someone the other day, it was like a friend of a friend uh and I'd never met this person before and they pointed at me and went, "Oh, bottom bitch." Ah. <laughs> so I just want to go on the record and say it's a great joke, but uh, for for the sake of my sexual prospects, I am verse. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 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 
yeah, me too. No, yeah, I am. Yeah, for sure, for sure, for sure. Yeah, we're, we're all versa, yeah. yeah all versa. <laughs> Luke is the most verse of all. <laughs> What'd you get on the BDSM quiz again? Oh my God, that was the funniest day. <laughs> Just nine 86%. comics standing around in a circle taking the BDSM yeah. quiz. And then Carrie goes, I'm a cuck? No, 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 no. <laughs> I feel like no, you're no, no, taking no. the wrong quiz. Can I? Can I? Can I? Can I retell it? I'm sure we've mentioned this already, but we're all sitting around. We're all around in a circle on the quiz. Carrie Ross, unbeknownst to us, she goes on a, the wrong quiz, a wrong kink quiz. And she fucks around. Like she doesn't do any legitimate answers. And we ask her, like, "Hey, what'd you get?" And she says, "Well, it says here that I'm 95 percent a cock." <laughs> She was the first one to answer too. Yeah. She was the first one to read her results loud. Do you remember what uh, you got? No, no. I remember my top three. It was uh, vanilla, sun, yeah, Virgo rising. Then, uh, then dominant, then experimentalist. Okay, that makes sense. It's like I'm vanilla. I like to top, but I'll also do whatever you want. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, I mean, the blankest be- canvas. <laughs> Just throw it on me. Hey, eh? I got there? like sub and rope bunny. Of course, I got like whatever you like to. Li- I basically got like, oh, you you like to lie down. <laughs> 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 I did kind of get switch as well, uh-huh. so I'm not a total bottom. Okay, I'm yeah. verse. No, nah, you're yeah. a bottom. I see it in your eyes. You're not. You're not a verse. Oh, you. It is. I can see it in your eyes. I, I've heard you talk about how much you love lying down. Lucas, <laughs> you're finally queer baiting. <laughs> I'm, uh, I'm accusing you of queer baiting. <laughs> Guilty. Guilty. <laughs> <laughs> nah. Micah just gave you the eye. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. Okay. Wait. Oh, alone? Wow. Oh my god. Wait. Can I ask? Um. Before we go into listener submissions, do you remember any uh, early childhood crushes? We haven't asked that in a while. That's Something... actually one of the questions. Is, oh, then let's is just get what, into it. Is what was your sexual awakening? Yes. Oh. Hit it. You go first. Um. I've said before that it was. I guess not s- sexual, but my first rush was when i was five on Lindsay lohan from the parent trap but it doesn't count as a pedophile thing because i was five it does when you say it like that though <laughs> it does when all you- right my first crush was when i was um, 29 and i was watching the parent trap like when i was <laughs> Like when I was like little, like seven years old, I had a crush on Wendy from the 2002 Peter Pan pedophile. movie. But I don't. <laughs> yeah, sure. Why not? But yeah, I would just say that. I wouldn't say pet. I would be like, yeah, I was seven. <laughs> In terms of like actual sexual awakenings. Mm. Yeah, definitely. Like I liked like Jeanette McCurdy from iCarly. I've said that before. Mm-hmm. Um, and now she wrote a book and she's great. Um, I read her whole book. Um, sh- ter- a hard life she's led all the power to her most shocking part of the book she's straight why is that shocking to you it um to the because my gaydar is sort of like uh somebody's gay if if i'm attracted to them. <laughs> <laughs> that's why it's uh, shocking oh is that why you think yeah. i'm gay <laughs> <laughs> fellas yeah. is it is your crush gay if you want to kiss them <laughs> What was your second awakening? Yes. Yeah. Um, so I'm going to say, like, my first crush as a kid, I kind of had two, and they were back-to-back on the Rosie O'Donnell show, which feels fitting. Okay. Um, wow. The first, Britney Spears, um, she did her premiere performance of, um, what's the one where she's dancing in the school? Uh, oh, it's not um, Oops, I Hit it, uh, hit Me Baby, baby One More, more time. time. Yeah. Yeah. And then the next week, Ricky Martin was on, and that became my true fixation, which went through, like, a complicated series of relationships of, of like, what makes sense about that, where now that I am a queer trans man, it's like, okay, now now that's okay. Um, You'd find him on Scruff. Oh, absolutely. 100%. Yeah. Um, but in Wait, my... Is Scruff just, like, the lift of Grinder. I don't know what it is. Someone, someone was asking me this yesterday, and I, th- I think they're all just hookup apps. Like, okay. I guess Scruff is supposed to be maybe that you have body hair, but like, I don't know. I've seen, I've seen twinks on there. Like, yeah, yeah. so inclusive. I'm twink of center. Um, <laughs> twink I'm, of center. I'm twi- What are the, what are all of them? Moon, star, <laughs> rising. I'm probably Moon twink star. rising. <laughs> I don't know my star chart. I'm sorry. 
I don't know my birth time. I It's moon sunrise. <laughs> I'm obsessed with the idea that you're like, oh, what are the star sign things? Freaking stars. Star, Saturn, <laughs> comet. That's fucking... the most of a bro I've way. ever seen you be. Yeah, that's <laughs> what the fuck is your star? Is I, it a star? I don't mean to knock it. I'm not like shitting on it. I just didn't know the no, terms. No, you have no idea how much of a kinship I feel to you right now. Just being like, fucking star. Day, day. <laughs> Oh, uh, yeah. Uh, You'll you... take that back. I'm a cancer for no. what it's worth. Um, and verse. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, first one, uh, first sexual awakening was probably just being on Tumblr in 2011. Oh, that'll do it. Yeah. Mm. Uh, Cardi Levine. Cardi Levine. Fascinating. If I had a type, I would say it's like tall blonde women with tattoos who are mask of center like mask energy them presenting very yeah. interesting yeah poor Kara kind of like went went off the rail my i one of the times i really miss my ex-girlfriend is uh she used to do this really great card Levine impression oh I, i've heard it it's actually really fun i got a voice i got a voice memo of it and i was like this is really fun <laughs> oh i'm Kara Delevingne. oh i'm so androgynous vagina <laughs> Spot on. <laughs> Am I a bit Spot cheeky on. when I say vagina? You should Shout go out into to Sylvie. <laughs> You're the best. Um, oh, some of my my ex's <laughs> friends listened to the podcast recently. Oh yeah, because they were trying to figure out what was going on with me. And oh, to, to them, I say, sign up for our Patreon. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Oh. Mm -hmm. Okay, another question though. What's your least favorite instrument? xylophone it's like what no. are you doing it's so big yeah it never shows up and stuff i was on um craigslist looking at gigs the other day and somebody was looking for a professional xylophonist i was like how do you even get there how do you accomplish that i i mean not to shit on people who do the xylophone that's cool is it uh but <laughs> but yeah. the one demographic you hate <laughs> xylophonists the triangleist uh don't fuck with uh, my triangle homies I, I do like a triangle. <laughs> I do like a good triangle. I played the triangle in the summer camp band, and um, the, the guy who ran the band actually got mad at me because he didn't think I was taking it seriously enough. <laughs> Aww. <laughs> I'm trying to think, like, what my least oh, favorite instrument is. Yeah, what's your least favorite instrument? <sighs> Power. <laughs> <laughs> Privilege. <laughs> Words. My least favorite instrument? <laughs> Privilege. Ladies, can I get an amen? <laughs> Texas? Texas, the calculator. Oh. Yeah. Oh. 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 There she goes. Oh. Fuck you. Yeah. Oh, my God. Shout out to Olivia. <laughs> <laughs> no, don't go in your hole. Puns. Don't go in your hole. You're so sexy. Uh -huh. Oh, okay. Uh -huh. I, actually, I actually have one. I actually have one. The bugle. How do you get so many notes out of no buttons? It's a trumpet, but with Tell no buttons. Tell me how I'm supposed to breathe in no air. How am I supposed to get notes with no buttons? <laughs> I don't get it. I don't trust it. I don't trust the bugle. That's fucked up. That is fucked up. It's just a little whore, and you go... You I'm like, how little, the fuck do you do, do that? Do you call it a little whore? A little whore? What? What did I say? <laughs> I, thought, I thought you said the bugle is a little whore. <laughs> I don't think I did, but I don't remember what I said. Can't be a whore. It only has. I think I just said you it blow in a little hole, hole right. and I think I said you blow in a little hole and you get all those notes. I think that's what I said. I could be wrong. No buttons. Yeah. <laughs> boop boop boop. Yeah. Boop, 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 boop. Right. Yeah. All right, we got one more. If you were stuck in a loop of a day, what would you do? This is a heavy one. Wow. Ooh. Um, I I throw that question to you. I want to know more than anything in the world. I think I would, over over the courses of the loop, try to convince a random stranger that I'm from the future. <laughs> mm. But the thing is, I, I would just, over like the loop, I would just get to know them so well, and I would know the answer to every question because <gasps> they're just going to ask it the same number a bunch of... Basically, oh, I would just genius. do Groundhog Day. But, like... I mean, at some point, I'd do something. After I've done that, I would do something nicer. But just once, I want to just convince someone I'm like from the future or a psychic or something. I think that would be fun. Yeah. Yeah. I like that. Tactful. Yeah. I think I would want to. I wouldn't do anything nefarious, but I would just like I would just mess with one person very benignly. I would have fun in a loop if I was with a friend. 
Um, just Let, like what, like the movie with Andy Samberg, uh, Palm Springs. Palm that's Springs. It. Oh, I love. I that would want to pull like a Twilight, where like okay, Bella lives forever, and then she gets with Edward, who who no, it's the other way. Edward lives forever because he's a vampire. Then he turns her into a vampire, so she lives forever, and then they just spend every day together. Like that sounds nice. I just want a wife. <laughs> <laughs> oh, moral of the story. Oh. I mean, the things I'm thinking of are like. I would go to my well, I like go see my favorite band in concert, but then I guess would I get tired of them? I would eat so much food. I would I would spend money like it didn't matter. Um, I would hope it's a nice day out. Yeah, yeah. If it's cold, uh huh. Um, yeah, I would so. be the person that Lucas is fucking with. Aww. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah. then I get an excuse to talk to him every day. Aww. <laughs> Aww. That's the oh. nicest thing anyone's ever said to me. Fuck you, Gabby. <laughs> yeah, I yeah, kick rocks, toots. <laughs> well, I wouldn't care. Yeah. I'd be with my wife. So. <laughs> I would yeah. go swimming a lot. That sounds nice. That does mm-hmm. sound nice. You what know, if it was winter and it was all frozen over? I would go fly somewhere. You have a day. Yeah. I'd just go to Paris. Why not? Yeah, sure. You, you, if you have a You're loop. You're going to wake up in New York in the morning anyway, so you might as well just spend money. The thing and go is, anywhere. if you have a loop, like, do you have money? Like, can you just like max out your credit card every day? Because I would do a bunch of shit. I'd go eat fancy dinner. Yeah. Mm. You know, I'd go what? get old McCarthy all the time. One thing I never understood was like in Groundhog Day, like he never just stays up one night. I think it's like you have to go to sleep. Event your body will just force you to go to sleep. Yeah, but he doesn't. Yeah, but le- oh, all right, I guess. Yeah. Because I always thought, oh, I would just try and like, because he never just stays up th- and just forces his way through with his consciousness to the next day. Never happens. It happens in Miami Vice. Oh. Or Palm Springs. <laughs> yeah. I was like, there's a <laughs> very time in Miami Vice? <laughs> very I have not different. seen Miami Vice. Me neither. Nor have I. Is okay. it about vices in Miami? Uh, I I don't know. I just know that like trans mass style is where like Miami Vice meets Margaritaville. Oh. Uh, it's like What chains. are your thoughts on Jimmy Buffett dying? Uh, unfortunate. Huge yeah. loss for yeah. the trans mass community. He yes. gave us most of our wardrobe. So yeah. um, RIP, trans ally, king. Um, yeah. Yeah. Also, have you been to Margaritaville yes. in Times Square? Yes, it's incredible. I haven't. The prices are actually kind of decent. Yeah, they are. Yeah. The drink's terrible. Yeah. I... No, no. Oh, you... P- there's like 500 of them. You want to hear one of the stupidest things I've ever done? Always. Going through the menu at Margaritaville, forgetting where I am and going, wow, they have a lot of margaritas. This is great. <laughs> it's my favorite kind of drink. There's so many tequila options. <laughs> and then you woke up again. And it was in a time <laughs> you do it. Oh, that's what I do in a time But then you're like, oh, no, it's still there. Fuck. <laughs> I would go to Margaritaville every single day. <laughs> Yeah. Let's explore all the various pools. Oh, I would do that if I was in a time loop. At some point, I would do that. I'd get, yeah. I'd go to Dave and Buster's and get really, really good at Dance Dance Revolution, and then mm. like crush the ego of every like eleven year old that rolls through. Interesting. Just so or just the same eleven year old. Oh, it would just be the same one. Yeah, or just a cluster. I do wonder if. <laughs> I wonder if I'd ever get better, though, because I'm really bad at, like, dance coordination. Like, I still fuck up the Macarena. I miss one step every time. I can't mm-hmm. do the Cotton Eye Joe. Maybe that's what I would do is just master all of these dances and then recruit a flash mob. Go to various bar or bat mitzvahs. Oh, that's just where I Just crash a bar mitzvah. I never got to go to any of those. What? what? Why not? No, I went to Catholic school for, like, 13 years. Oh. oh. Yeah. So you um, missed out on... Jewish friendships of of the tweens. Well, it's crazy because the uh, neighborhood I grew up in was 98% Jewish. Oh, my God. You didn't find one? (laughs) Not a single one. I got invited to one, and my mom was like, no, we have church. And I'm like, that's okay. On another day. Yeah. It's on a different day. Did you ever have sex in a church? No. No. Where's the wildest place you've had sex? Max Brenner's bathroom. The chocolate shop in Union Square. Oh, okay. Not like Max Brenner. No, like, I I know Max comic, Brenner. Know. I know the Chocolate yeah. Shop. It's mm-hmm. a little, uh, it's a little kind of chain, you know, mm-hmm. place in Union Square, and uh, we hooked up in the bathroom, and then uh, 
there was a long line, I guess, for the bathroom. So people mm-hmm. started being like, get out of there. <laughs> so we had to leave. We did well, not complete the sex. At gay bars, they have the signs, only one person allowed in the bathroom at a time. At Max Brenner's, they don't have those signs. That's what I'm saying. Mm-hmm. You they know, there's no. I used to hook up in like changing rooms a lot when I was 16. Whoa. Because me and, me and my ex would like, you know, we we wouldn't be able to like go to my parents' house to hook up because it was too small. There's no basement or mm-hmm. whatever. So we would just like, we would go, we'd pretend to both be, oh, we're trying on shirts and we'd be trying on each other's uh, boobs. Because <laughs> that's how lesbian sex works. Took mine off, put it on. <laughs> put it on how out. does it feel? Uh, yeah. I haven't had my same boobs back for years. <laughs> oh my God, you stole someone else's boobs? Yeah, it's kind of yeah. like an us situation. Like my tether is <laughs> there oh with my, my boobs. If that was really the case, I would have saved so much money on top surgery. <laughs> so much money. Yeah. <laughs> you could have just switched chests with someone. I would just, like, meet Channing Tatum. I would <laughs> find a way to make that work. His specs might be a little bit too big for the ratio of my body. I guess I'd have to find, like, Danny DeVito if I need, like, the measurements to match up. But at that point, I might be going up a cup size. Yeah, I think so. Imagine Danny DeVito being like, yeah, I got Micah's t- <laughs> <laughs> I think Danny DeVito with a with a pair of thirty six double D's would be a pretty funny visual. Oh, hundred percent. Yeah, he'd have a fun week. <laughs> he'd book some fun gigs. A week? Oh, oh week? He would just take the boobs for a week? That's oh, I'm long... not taking them back. That's yeah, as, that's, that's what I'm saying. That's as long as I would want boobs. Like, if you could just w- wave a magic wand and be like, Lucas, you have boobs. That's as long as I would want them. Just to see what it's like, you know? What cup size not would beating you want, the Lucas? Huh? The, not beating the egg alligator. <laughs> <laughs> this egg you is know, if officially I could have scrambled. Boobs. <laughs> I'm saying like, I, I actually I would hate to have them longer than that. But like it would be it's interesting. Like what would it be like? You never know. What size would you know. want? Michael is asking. Oh, that's a great question. I don't know. What do you see me having? I feel like he's a B cup boy. Yeah, yeah. I see it. Mm-hmm. I see it. I see it. Not bisexual, but the other B <laughs> on the LGBT. <laughs> bacon. <Yeah>. Bacon. <laughs> the B in bra size stands for bacon. <laughs> Beautiful. Yeah. Another B. Well, those are our listener submissions. So should we go in our final segment? I believe so. All right. Final segment. Uh, please describe how you believe you are perceived by other people. And then we say how we actually perceive you. Oh, my gosh. Apparently, I'm perceived as very chill. Yeah, chill passing. Yeah, chill passing. <laughs> um, I would say I'm perceived as chill. Uh, I would like to think I'm seen as like a warm, welcoming person. Um, maybe a good hugger is like a vibe I give off. Um, a little low to the ground, <laughs> but we don't need to be talking about physical things here. Um. And maybe just a little bit of a space cadet. Yeah. 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 That's a nice vibe to have. I think uh-huh. so. Yeah. Okay. Oh, I see you as like it? fun. Yeah. Like fun, cool himbo. But like, yeah, you know, like also smart. Like I definitely, I feel like the first time I met you, I was like, this is just like a fun, safe person to be around. Like This is someone where when I see him, I want to hug him. I want to hang out with him. I want to. The, not to not to call you low to the ground, but I like want you in my pocket. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's so much worse. <laughs> that's so much worse than low to the ground. Which pocket are we talking here? <laughs> oh, kangaroo pouch. <laughs> oh, yeah. little marsupial. Yeah, yeah. That sounds actually kind of fun. Yeah. yeah, you want it? Yeah, I would. I would. I would hang out in your pouch. All right, both of you guys can hang out in my pouch. Both of my tea boys. <laughs> Um, but what i would say about you is pretty much exactly the same is that you have a very sunny disposition anytime i'm around you i'm like oh it's nice mike is here i'm always i'm always in a good mood whenever you're there you've never brought down the vibe you've always elevated it even if you're not in the best mood you're very generous with your energy oh and handsome that's and definitely handsome. That's you definitely also have great nice. hair always i've never seen your hair not look good it's always a good shape to it always I, I am fortunate to have good hair. I will say that. Knock on wood. I'm trying to keep it. Yeah. People don't realize that trans men can go bald. I've learned that that is a, yep, see, they don't know. No, there are things they don't I know. don't know. Yes. <gasps> um, That's fucked up. Yeah. You guys go through enough. <laughs> Actually, yeah. yeah. I'm like, I, I, I'm 5'3". This gets me at 5'4". I need to hang on to it, you know? <laughs> yeah. You should grow yeah. it higher like that kid in Hey Arnold. 
Oh my god. Gerald? Yeah. I don't know that I have the volume to maintain that, but I'll be damned if I don't try. Yeah, that's right. I look more like Polly D. If anybody remembers, oh my god, um, we Jersey gotta get can you do, Wait, plug. can you do that as like a Halloween costume? Yes, yes, I can. I've always wanted to be a DJ. I would love it if you did. Ooh. That's not true. I haven't. I have not always wanted to be. But I do love having the aux cord. I love a. I love a well curated playlist. Mm. Mm. What does your playlist consist of? Gay. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Um. I go through cycles. Right now, it's I'm listening to a lot of Chapel Roan. Uh, I'm going to a concert next week and then like two weeks after that um in new york and then uh i started listening to machine gun kelly again but like i'll go through phases where it's like i want sad shit or i want like angst and pop is machine mm. gun kelly gay coded no okay no well no no he's no. just depressed <laughs> right. yeah he's not he's not gay coded he has adhd <laughs> You know how everyone on Twitter is like, oh, they're not gay, they have ADHD. You know, like that. Sorry, that was a riff that went south really quick. <laughs> I have not heard that. I do have ADHD. Yeah, uh, we all do. Yeah, I think I think we all do. Yeah. yeah. Machine Gun Kelly. I, I like that one song that was like, I'm the emo girl. Oh, yeah. yeah. I haven't listened to that in forever. <laughs> yeah, sorry, I'm Olivia. in love with an emo girl. I'm in love with the, not I'm yeah, the emo, I'm the emo. <laughs> Name of the... That's the most trans thing you've ever said. <laughs> I'm the emo girl. It's true. Name Ooh. of the episode. I'm the emo girl. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Yeah. Um, well, Micah, you've been a wonderful guest. Thank you so much for coming on. Would you please plug and promote anything that you have in the near future? Um, I'm on social media. It's my name. It, my name. How do I have to spell my name? Should I spell my name? If you want. Okay. Uh, it's Micah and then E A M E S because my Norwegian as ancestors are assholes and decided that was how you spell Ames. Sure. Um, and then, uh, yeah. So I'm on TikTok, Instagram. Give me LinkedIn. Definitely follow him on LinkedIn. Definitely. On LinkedIn. Oh, I've given a TED talk. You can watch that. It's on. Uh, I didn't know you did it. I did a TED did talk. It? Oh yeah. Did a TED talk. Um, I don't know you do the TED talk. I do I not do do the TED talk. <laughs> it's. Uh, I do have to clear because when they ask, like, do you have any credits? And it used to be I've given a TED talk, and now I have to say I've like has given a hilarious TED talk because otherwise people would be like, and he knows rocket science. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Was um, it hilarious? It's it's funny. Um, it, so it's on like how I came out at work as being trans um, and the way I did it. And, and then I give people kind of a framework of like, this is how I decided to tell people based on like how I wanted them to respond to the information. Um, so I said like, you know, um, I'm trans. Also, I have dry skin. Please send your skincare recommendations to my updated contact information. Uh, well, my skin is dry. It's not too sensitive. We're all going to mess up my name and pronouns. Uh, mm. You know, happy to work at a place where uh, <laughs> I'm comfortable in my own skin, you know, but your That's skincare sweet. recommendations will help me even more. Um, and then it's uh, four tips for what to do if you're on the other side of the conversation. Um, so, you know, like Google it. Don't ask them a question directly if uh, you don't feel like it's safe to ask it at work. Mm. Yeah. Or if you, um, and, uh, and then other, uh, the one they wouldn't let me plug in there is Venmo them. Oh, well, that's the, that's the most important one. Mm. Money in their pockets. Yeah. Yeah. So, so yeah, I gave a TED talk. Um, give it a watch or a listen. That's awesome. That's, that's a so cool. sick way to come out at work. I feel like that reminds me of the Shit's Creek episode where, uh, uh, what's his face comes out as pansexual by being like I like the wine not the they're at a wine store and he's like uh, he had just slept with this girl but he's very like gay presenting and the girl's mm -hmm. like I thought you only drink red wine and then he's like I drink red wine but I also drink white wine and occasionally a few rosés and and then it gets like more confusing he's like one time it was a uh, uh, a Merlot that wanted to be a Pinot Noir for a while, and then the girl's like, "What?" <laughs> he goes, "I like the wine, but not the label." Does that make sense? Uh -huh. She's like, "Yeah." I'm so sense. lost. 
You should just I watch the clip. It's you should watch endearing. the clip. People love it. Okay. Yeah. Nice. Um, here are my plugs. I guess mm-hmm. this will come out after I've already been to Portland. Um, follow my show, Wait But Are You Sure? Our next date is in the books. Hey. October 26th. It's going to be a Halloween extravaganza. Oh, fuck yeah. So get ready. Claire C. Mikowski and I are judge, jury, and executioner of your sexual orientation. It's the best. It's I a love fun ass show. show. I love that show. It's so my mom came in town and I wanted to take her so bad. Oh my god! But she was going. She came to a show that I was on, and I was like, I can't subject my mom to two nights of stand up comedy when she's here for three. And that's <laughs> yeah, that's so fair. That's kind. That's really yeah. kind. You're a good yeah. person. <laughs> You're a good son. You yeah. are. Yeah, yeah. I'm doing my uh, please uh, follow my follow me on YouTube. I am relaunching my amp show. Um, What's your spiral? It is now rabbit holes. The podcast that'll be on my YouTube channel. Uh, we're going to have uh, exclusive content on uh, Patreon as well. Uh, otherwise, yeah, sign up for my mailing list. Let me know where you'd like me to do stand up. Uh, yeah, thanks very much. That's it from me. Yay. Once Keep again, it going Micah. for Micah. Thank you. Keep it Aww. going for Olivia, our amazing Keep producer. Keep it going for Olivia. We've been two nosy meerkats. See you never, bitches. <laughs> See ya. Yeah, stick that yeah. tongue out. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> la 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 la